Hello Pisces, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this is the first time you guys have clicked on the video, help me reach 100K by subscribing. Those of you guys that are already subscribed, I love and appreciate you guys so, so much. And we're gonna tap into your message. Take what resonates, leave the rest for another Pisces. If you're interested in a personal reading, check me out at the Etsy shop down below. All right, Pisces, let's get into your energy. See what's going on with you. <laughs> so right off the bat, we got proud man whore, Pisces. Oh, what is this? Oh my goodness. So you guys could be dealing with a masculine who is a player, could be proud of that. Or if they're not outright like proud of it, they also like, they don't, they deny it. They try to act like there's nothing wrong with what they do. Okay. We got, please don't hurt me. It's been a while since I felt like this. So some of you guys, you know, maybe this person, you're, you're changing their perspective a little bit, Pisces. You're making this person want to maybe be more committal. You're opening up this person's heart. Maybe they're used to just hitting it and quitting it and, and you know, going from one to the next and not really falling in love and maybe you're changing this person Pisces you will always have my heart yeah you, you've made somebody fall in love okay but I feel like they don't really want to be in that space tell me more for Pisces we've got you need to write down exactly what what qualities you're looking for in your ideal partner. This will help you manifest specifically the characteristics you want in your new emperor or new empress. So Pisces, maybe with this person you were settling, you were trying to tough it out with them, even though you know you deserve better than the treatment that they gave you, okay? Spirit's saying you need to be more specific <laughs> when you're manifesting a lover into your life. Be a little bit more specific. Okay, I've always had the biggest crush on you. So this person's very sexually attracted to you, very physically attracted to you. All right, I feel like there's a sexual message that's about to pop out. And I'm like just on the edge of my chair waiting. Okay. We have my love for you is never ending and unconditional. Why don't you see that? No. They're a player, aren't they? They're a little smoozer. They try to guilt you too. There could be a lot of gaslighting going on with this person, a lot of manipulation and mind games. I feel like they're a very sweet talker. It's given Knight of Cups. So you could be dealing with another Pisces or a Scorpio or a Cancer. This person has water in their chart because they know how to manipulate emotion well. But the thing is, you've gotten into their heart space too and they don't like that. Could be an Aries. I have so many plans for our future. It says, your ex is crying now and in regret that he trusted the wrong person who has now betrayed him. So, or her. So, you know, Pisces, they could have went off with somebody else and that person betrayed them. And now they're crying and they're in a lot of regret. And they wish they would have just stuck with you instead of being like, afraid of commitment or something i love the way you give me hit <laughs> i knew it was coming <laughs> i knew it was coming pisces that's hilarious they love the way you give them head pisces i don't know <laughs> they know they're running out of time with you though okay now we got he or she is shocked and in disbelief as he or she never figured you would completely close the cycle out with them, okay? Oof, all right. Some of y'all are done with this person and you're trying to manifest better to come into your life. Somebody, that's why that card came out. You've been manifesting somebody that is ready for commitment ready for the love that you bring not just in it for the sex for the head for the passion for 
the superficialness of a relationship. Somebody just wanted to be with you because, oh God, my stack of cards fell. Oh no. Somebody wanted to just be with you because I'm here when it all falls down. My deck of cards fell on the ground. <laughs> All right, but anyway, let's get back to the seriousness of the matter. Now, this person, you know, they thought you would just be around to play their little game, is what I want to say. And you was, you've tricked them, or not tricked them, you've really surprised them, Pisces, that um, you finally had the strength or something to pick, like, just to pick up and leave, to leave them, okay? This person, you know, you guys could have had really good sex together. All right? They like to build up your orgasm to make it last. I knew some sexual cards were about to come out. I just knew it. There could be age differences. You could be younger or older than them. But there's a silent treatment happening right now because they're messing with a third party. This third party that they thought they could trust is going to betray them or already has. And now they're boo-hooing. It's the same old story, you know. Somebody not, not ready for a connection and they find out that there's this person they were chasing was nothing, was not good and like was not better than you. Okay, this connection is good for your soul's growth. This has taught you a lot of things, Pisces, although there's been a lot of pain associated with it. I feel like you have learned a great spiritual lesson out of this mistake. There was a lot of verbal abuse, emotional abuse with this person. They tried to, you know, I think they tried to steal away a lot of your confidence so that you wouldn't leave them or so that you, it would be harder for you to leave. We have, you have been isolating a lot, divine feminine or divine masculine. So you guys could really be in, in a state of, you know, you might be feeling pretty depressed and sad of it not working out with this person, but you're isolating for a reason. You're learning a lot of spiritual lessons right now and you're back to the drawing board and you're manifesting what it is that you really want and what you deserve. Okay. And again, you talk, you dirty talk to me just the way I like. They're thinking about the sexual aspect. When they think about memories, and when they really get to craving you and wanting you and missing you, they're thinking about the sex. Okay? That keeps coming out. He is mad at both himself and me for losing you, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine. He views me as spiteful and evil. He knows what I'm capable of, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine. I know he's unhappy here, but he's too scared to leave divine feminine or divine masculine he knows that is that the contract he had with you is completely broken now you or she and they were so stupid to believe everything that i made up about you what the hell so this little third party is a little spiteful vindictive jealous bitch <laughs> okay that's kind of what i'm feeling um Totally tricked this person. Didn't that say that? Like, I know now, like, this person was lying or something like that. They betrayed me. Yeah, like, they're crying and in regret because they picked somebody else. I don't know what this third party was telling. Yeah, look, it says, I know now that he feels as though he made the wrong choice. Mm-hmm. And it says, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, you are a true lady or a true gentleman. You are classy and you carry yourself in such an elegant and graceful way. That is why you turn so many heads regardless of your age. So yeah, some of you guys might be older and this person was younger. That might be something you guys are like stewing about. Like, oh, it's because she was, you know, I'm older than them. That person's younger than me. Like, no, that don't matter. That's, that person still don't hold a candle to you. Tell me more for Pisces. Yeah, taboo kinks. 
<laughs> Y'all had some taboo kinky sex together. <laughs> and they're thinking about that, okay? They are thinking about it. Look, I can't make it up. Thinking of you when I pleasure myself. <laughs> Lord, I can't make it up. My goal is to make you squirt. Like, if they've never done that before, they think about it. I'm telling you. I knew that this, it was about to pop out. Okay, there could be some alcoholism going on. It's not a Pisces reading without alcoholism. <laughs> so, sorry to say, whether it's you or them. Pisces, you tend to gravitate towards people who have kind of lost souls or they've lost themselves in vices. And I've said before on the channel, you guys, that's one of your hardest things to conquer is your need for vices at times, your need to escape. Somebody's got loyal pussy though. Pisces, I feel like that was you all along. Cause this person ain't loyal man whore came out first and foremost for them yeah look can we invite someone home this person they don't want to be committed but at the same time they still want you back they want you it's a sexual tie somebody's like really obsessed i'm not making this up look bottom of the deck i play with myself every night thinking of you that came out twice. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't. Pisces, somebody's got some extreme sexual obsession with you. Okay. What's Pisces energy right now? You're being noticed possibly right now or you're focusing on being successful enough that like you're noticed. Why is this six of wands here? What's the six of wands here? You're tired of not being noticed for something. So you're really focusing on, you know what I'm also hearing too is like, you're tired of someone not fighting for you. You're tired of being the person that's always fighting for someone, but you you want to be the person that gets fought over. Yeah, that, that breaks your heart. You're hurt. You want someone to fight for you for a change. You want someone to look at you and be like, you know what, I'm going to fight for Pisces. I'm going to come towards Pisces. I'm going to do what it takes to, even if it makes me look vulnerable or silly or whatever, I'm going to come towards Pisces. You're growing really impatient with possibly waiting for this person to come back to you, you could be expecting them. You could be wanting them to come back towards you. And the longer they wait, the more heartbroken you become because it's like, okay, here I am being loyal, waiting for this person to come back towards me. And it's like no judgment. Like you could want this person to come back towards you, even though they've proven that they're like a player or whatever, you could be wanting their validation. You could be wanting them to come towards you and show that they love you. How does this person feel about you right now? They're torn. They don't know how to feel. And they're torn in between two other, you know, another person or maybe two other since I said it like that. They have multiple people in their life and they're closing their emotions off from you. There's a, a unwillingness to be emotionally available but at the same time they still love to try to come towards you this is a total like time waster and they're gonna you're gonna end up feeling stabbed in the back again by this person there's some jealous karmic in the in the background too it could be a fire sign that just won't let your person go either Honestly, I think that the, the main motivator behind this person coming towards you and not really being emotionally available to you is sex. You did it for them without a doubt when it comes to what they needed sexually. The karmic doesn't do it for them, you do. The third parties don't do it for them, you do. But this person doesn't deserve to have you in that way. What are their future actions towards you?
So we have the Five of Wands reversed. We have the Two of Pentacles reversed. They want to talk. And they want to get out of the cold with you. And yeah, again, Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, they're tired of thinking about you and being tormented by missing you. And they just want to have a conversation. They don't want to fight or anything. They just want to talk to you. So that's going to be the next thing that they do is come towards you and try to talk to you. They're tired of missing you. They're tired of being sad. They're tired of the juggling energy. Um, they could be like trying to get rid of the third parties, but I don't feel like that will be permanent. That's just my opinion. Um, I think this person is a smooth it over under the rug type of person they try to appease you for a little bit just to get back in good with you so that you guys can have that amazing sex that you have and then once that's kind of wearing off they start up to their usual stuff again pisces okay so that's what i have for you if it resonated be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys later bye